Hey folks, welcome to Tully River Quill. Um, just wanted to show you our sandbox, removal sandbox extensions that we do for our cages. So you can see how these guys are just hanging out. And these guys I just put their sandboxes on. And you can see them rocking and shaking in there. Just digging it. So let me just show you these cage extensions. I store them on the ground and I use these for when it's heavy weather or when I want to put the sandboxes in. And my cages are designed with this rollout egg protector and windscreen so that when it gets really cold or severe weather I'll put this down or I'll put on the cage extension and that'll help keep them warm. But basically these cage extensions have a uh, corrugated cardboard plastic cardboard tray with a scratch proof floor liner that's cut to size and then here's the cage extension itself it is just a one by two framework with some um, one half by one flooring that I have in there so you can put this on even without the sandbox in there and put straw or just leave it open and then it has this translucent, so light gets through, um, protective wind box. So basically this just sets in here, slides in. It's hard to do with one hand, but I can do it. And then I'll just hang that right on the cage. Again, that's going to be hard to do, but you can see how it's attached. There's two little hooks at the top, and then I have bungee cords at the bottom that hold it on. And then there's a little lip on the bottom of the tray here, and that fits underneath the lip of the egg rollout. It'll clip on. I'll put the lid down over top and latch it with the bungee cord. And there they go, start, start the rock and roll. So if you're interested in some metal cages with rollout floors, um, we're trying to be able to ship these. It's just difficult because they're so much larger than regular uh, three foot by two foot cages. That extra five inches makes it just difficult to find a box. But we're gonna find a solution to do that because a lot of people want them. And you know, these cage extensions are certainly nice to have. It's like having a two hutches back to back. It's like a condo. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you how we have this set up. And this is our, our breeders. Um, we have these guys set up laying eggs. We get about 40 eggs a day out of these guys. But uh, all right, folks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and if you can, think about joining your uh, U.S. Quail Cooperative or Pennsylvania State Quail Cooperative or your state Quail Cooperative. And uh, let's get our voice together so that we can be heard. Stay free.